Jack, I could shoot to break your chains, but that might be too risky. Amanda, I couldn't quite hear you, but whatever you do, please don't shoot at me. Good? So you want me to do it? Well, okay. You're not doing it? Good. Very good. Good? He says I'm a good shot. All right. I mustn't disappoint him. E, keep the car steady. This is going to be an awfully tricky shot. Something seems broken. Oh, this is great. Just great. That's what I get for trusting someone just the once. Jack, what is your damn problem? You didn't even really give me your hand. Ah, oh, so now it's my fault that you didn't make it. Amanda, that looked rather clumsy. What? I wouldn't go that far, Eve. So that's what I get when I'm trying to take your side for once. Oh. Oh, that's going to be fun. Hey, everyone, I, I, I need, I need a picture of this. Hey, people, look, the elephant likes to eat in the shade, like a person. Astounding. That was wonderful, but I think that was my last picture. The film is a full. sailor's trying to fix the car. A city girl is grumbling in the desert. Oh, if you need me, I'm taking a break. I hate being here. Carl, your car won't run anymore. Have you got an idea what could be wrong? Um, I need a little more information than that. Does it even still have wheels, including a steering wheel? Or did you finally manage to wreck it completely? Hey, calm down. It's just that a lot of steam is coming out everywhere. That's just great. The water tank is busted. Is that a bad thing? Could be worse. Take the spare cam from the back of the car and then, um... Yes, and then? Then you lift the car. Lift the car? To refill the water? Hey, you're driving around in my prototype. There was only room for the access under the car, so... Under the car? And here? Without tools in the desert? What do you suggest we do? Have you still got the jack in the little bag at the back of the car? No little bag and no jack but me. In that case, I just can't help you. If, if you can't lift the car, you can't refill the water. Great construction, you genius. If we starve now, or get devoured by wild beasts, it'll be all your fault. Yeah, I guess so. If that's all for now. Is there anything you don't hate? Wait, what? what is that noise? Ladies, the airship. It's almost touching the ground. What the heck? They're going down. They, they're crashing. How ironic. As rich as Zambati is, he's as helpless as we are in the middle of nowhere. Money won't help him now. Oh, 
A couple of termites must have nested in this tree. There are so many things that I like to do. Wow, Sitting that was around loud. hot, deserted no man's Echoes land, like however, we in the it's not one of them. This fig tree appears to be the home of three monkeys. They must like the fruit. Home. Well, a single elephant looks kind of lonely and different from the others. He's special. Like oh, me. in that case, I must by all means visit your home someday. Hey, Jack, that's my suitcase. What do you think you're doing? I saw you'd brought a large suitcase. Yes, what about it? Have you got anything in that suitcase that might help us? Forget it. The contents of a lady's suitcase is nobody's business but the ladies. I'll be really careful with your stuff. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to let you rifle through my belongings. I've got some very private things in there. Oh, come on. Jack, do you really think Eve would let you rummage through her private things? All right, you can look at my stuff. Really? That's... Uh... Under one condition, I get to remove a few things first. Of course. What are you trying to hide? Well, Jack, I'm ready. Be careful with my things. That looks nice, but I don't know what I'd use it for in the desert. I think it's time to visit the United States. I'd love to play an elevator, whatever that is. Maybe the best record in the suitcase. But Eve's taste in music is terrifying. I've always wanted a record with German umpa music. Wait, no I didn't. A red parasol looks Asian and is made out of paper, not very sturdy. The heat's getting to me. Your outfit isn't right for here. That won't work. I don't think that'll work. Honey, what you see here is called couture. That doesn't seem to work. Maybe in Paris. We're stuck in the middle of the savannah. Sand everywhere. We're not getting out of here without a car. Dang, I knew it. Hurry, Jack. Fix the car and take us back to Carl. Useless, fashionable trash. It'd be better if I put on a shellac record first. Otherwise, there won't be any sound. <laughs> How stupid. At least we've got some nice company. Elephants and monkeys. Hey, look at them. The monkeys are falling asleep. Did you see one of the monkeys? Hey, Jack, look what those crazy monkeys are doing. They're, they're dancing. How cute. It looks like the elephant's very happy with the monkey fruit. Oh, 
sure the elephant can't stand the horrible screeching of the monkeys. I certainly understand that. Sticky. That would Very mean that sticky. it's extremely smart and has been trained to fly a balloon. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, my large friend. Get the, uh, tasty fruit. What kind of balloon? Look, Jack. These elephants are amazing animals. <laughs> and this one seems to like fruit. A couple of termites must have nested the in this tree. Carnivorous plants. Wow, that was loud. It echoes like we were in the mountains. And you wonder why I don't want to be here. Oh my, looks like a human skeleton. Maybe he went crazy and starved because he was stuck between two arguing women. I hate being here. Well done, Jack. You're a genius. Is there anything you don't hate? A hole in a tree. There are so not many things uncommon. that I like to do. Sitting around in a hot, deserted no man's land, however, is not one of them. Uh, the single parasol looks rather pitiful. Something's missing. It reminds me of back home. Typical African palm tree. I like palms, but no coconuts oh, to be seen. In that case, I must Pity. by all means visit your home someday. A typical African palm tree. I like palms, but no coconuts to be seen. Pity. Small world, Mr. Keene. Too small for the both of us, Mr. Palm. Oh my god, what have I done? A large palm frond. Oh, the heat's getting to me. Your outfit isn't right for here. That thing is huge! Amazing! You died for a noble cause, Mr. Palm. Honey, what you see here is called couture. Hey, Jack, look what those crazy monkeys are doing. They're, they're dancing. How cute. It looks like the elephant's very happy with the family fruit. Oh, the elephant can't stand the horrible screeching of the monkeys. I certainly understand that. Maybe in Paris. Here, they call it useless trash. It's sticky. Very sticky. And smells somewhat useless, fermented. fashionable trash. Come on, my large friend. Get the uh, tasty fruit. 
What's going on now? Jack! He's coming right at us! Oh dear. Hey, what is that noise? Wow! The weight of the elephant is lifting the car like it was a feather. Eve had no reason to worry. The animals are friendly. At least we've got some nice company. Oh, elephants and must monkeys. must have lost something. My spidey sense, uh, my captain's sense, tells me that this could be very useful soon. Well, the elephant seems to be very friendly, but I can't risk annoying him. Did you see one of the monkeys wearing goggles? It must have escaped from somewhere. Hey, thanks for the help, my heavyweight friend. I'm ready. Amanda, perhaps you should drive now. Are you joking? That's a rhetorical question. Of course I'll drive. Hey, neither of you knows the first thing about driving. <laughs> if you could do it, then I can do it better. Oh, are you two bickering again? That's so typical. Ha! <laughs> You'll see how well I can handle it. It can't be all that difficult. Shouldn't we take my suitcase? I mean, you can't do that. My clothes! Don't worry, Eve. We'll get them later. I promise. Idiot. Keep searching for our equipment. Hurry. The amulet. <laughs> I thought I'd never see it again. Some things will still be usable. Keep your eyes open. Huh? No, nothing to see. Stupid control. Too hot to do anything but hang around. Let's move along. We're going to break it to Carl that we wrecked his car. I'm going to talk to Carl. Perhaps your ability to fascinate none too bright males will help you with that. At least I can be charming. Hey, my charms open many a door, sweetie. Hello, this won't get us anywhere. That's true, Jack. You should decide. Of course, wise Jack in all his wisdom will make a wise decision. I think, um, Eve might show a little more empathy. I'd prefer her. Carl? Darling? What on earth has happened to my prototype? It is... I mean, is any part of it not broken? Carl, sweetheart, we ran into a few problems, and we're really sorry about the dents in your car. Yeah, there was this huge elephant, and... You do have insurance, don't you? Insurance? For my prototype? I mean... A few scratches shouldn't be a big deal for a genius like you, right? Thanks for your trust. I'll get to work right away.
All right. How are we going to get the amulet back from Umbati? Right now, Jack, that's the least of our worries. The car's fuel is almost used up. We'll soon be stuck here. We need the ship. We need it to haul away the treasure. But the sailing ship won't take us further up the Nile. The rats. Either you find 20 experienced oarsmen, or a different kind of engine so I can convert it. Let's see what engine we can find. Yes, even more bananas. I'm really starting to get sick of them. Let's move along. What? My clothes! Sorry, my mistake. are annoying. I can hardly stand it. Unbelievable. Come here for a moment. You better get out of here in a hurry. See it again. Strange. Shouldn't this be the moment where I fall unconscious? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Your subconscious is a very, very strange place, my friend. How did I get here this time? How would I know? I'm dead, remember? I've got three pieces of the amulet now, but it doesn't look complete. You still need one last piece. Can you show me where it is? I am not allowed to tell you. You what? I got this far? Fought against giant plants? Almost got myself killed a dozen times? I even tamed some extremely crazy monkeys? And now you're not going to tell me? Jack, back in our cell in Shanghai, I picked you because you were the only choice. What a wise decision. You don't understand. Okumba, the treasure, must never fall into the wrong hands. I was the last person to protect Okumba. But I had to leave Okumba behind and set out on a dangerous journey that took me many years to find somebody who is worthy of this treasure. The person who can handle Okumba must be good and pure and at peace with himself. Sounds just like me. You're not at peace with yourself. Do you remember your visions of the future? You were afraid you might end up with nothing. An aging adventurer with no success, no riches, no friends, and who never dared do anything and you don't know how to change it. Help me then! How can I change my future? You change the future by changing the present. You mean... You know what I mean. You're afraid to grow up. When the prisoners in Shanghai wanted you to lead their escape, you ran away. When the workers in Hamburg wanted you to lead their union, you ran away. And when Amanda wanted to go to Shanghai with me, I refused and pretended that it was too dangerous for her. While in reality, I just didn't want her to come too close to me. Many people extend a hand to you. I know. But 
I find it so hard to take. Why do I do that? That is exactly what you need to find out, Jack. And if you can do that, you will know where to go and what to do. And then you will find Ukumba. Everything will fall into place. And speaking of falling into place, <laughs> there is something I want to give you now. What? Jack, are you all right? All of a sudden, you just passed out. I've got the next clue. We must go to that mountain. Kilimanjaro. No, Jack. We must return to Carl. I used the radio thing, and Carl asked something about getting an airship engine. Well, let's go then. Umbati's bound to come back here. Why does my head always hurt like crazy when I wake up? Uh, perhaps you should drink more water, Jack? Huh. Let's see how Carl's would-be carriage handles the weight. Wow! The thing is huge! I will use this to do things to the ship that no one has ever done to a ship before. That's nice, Carl, but we must head for Kilimanjaro now, before Mbati gets back. I think it won't take me long to rework the ship. In six steps, I'll move the drive to the port side, and then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Perhaps we'll just grab the car and get a head start. No problem. I'll follow you by water. That mountain is hard to miss. What a trip. I could feel every single bump. Ah, Carl should think of something that absorbs the shock a little. Tell him that when he finally gets here, too. We'll see when... Hey, my friends! What took you so long? That's impossible. The car actually survived, if you can call it that. How on earth did you get here before us? That engine you brought me is faster than I thought. So, I came up with some completely new ideas. Well, whatever. We should just buy some gear and start our climb up Kilimanjaro. Hey, no worries. African villages are totally nice people. I wouldn't be surprised if they were about to invite us to eat and dance with them. Hmm. No thanks. I don't want to buy insurance. How handy. We're not selling insurance. No insurance? But I don't wet any carpets either. Just to let you know it. We're just travelers. Uh... Yeah, right. And then I'll end up with yet another carpet. Or another insurance policy. It's always the same with you people. Could it be that you just love to buy things? No, no, no. Don't lead me into temptation again. I have important things to take care of. Things like... Contemplating my village. Goodbye. What's up there? Just listen. My villagers, our financial situation is precarious. Unfortunately, the Afro Real Estate Bank used our substantial profits from carpet and insurance bonds to play the market. In the end, they gambled it all away. As you know, we now owe a big sum to the Jirani tribe. The ancient rules allow us to resolve the conflict 
through a tournament. If, at the end of the day, a fighter manages to win for our cause, then we get a fresh start. But if a fighter from the Jirani tribe should win, then we will be forced to abandon the common currency we once embraced with our neighbors. you again. Ah, Mr. Keen. What an unpleasant reunion. Terry? Finally. Say goodbye to the world. On the contrary. Terry, put your hands where I can see them. Looks like a classic standoff. And now? Well, my friends, I'm sure you wouldn't want to disregard our traditions. What traditions? Just get out of my way, you interfering fool. First of all, you are speaking to the chief of the proud village of Koa Manyatan. Secondly, all disputes here may only be dealt with on the meeting grounds and with previous registration. And thirdly, if you do not wish to agree to these terms, my tribe of hunters and gatherers who own very, very many sharp spears might become quite incensed. Careful, Jack. Any more questions, gentlemen? Umbati, the odds are not good. Work it out. Terry, how many bullets do you have? Uh, well, uh... A couple, I think. Against a village full of warriors. Poor odds. It isn't worth it. We shall find another way to negotiate with Mr. Keene. Terry, you guard the airship. I'll take a look around. Please maintain a respectful distance. This village really needs is a shopping mall. Have you found out where to get a decent cup of coffee here? Those are your problems. Jack, would you believe it? I've just had two marriage proposals. Yeah, I guess so. Everything all right? Apart from the wreck of my car, yes. The village chief was eyeing it with suspicion. Perhaps he thinks it's a monster. Boring cars, the only things you can build. How about airships like Ambati? Actually, the technology isn't all that complicated. But I must admit, they did a pretty impressive job on the engines. They involve a lot of expensive mechanics. This makes me curious. There's a wrecked airship in the savannah, probably unguarded. Wow, an Ambati airship close up. I wonder how they solved the weight problems. We could drive there. Great idea. I'm ready whenever you are. What is it, Jack? I need to borrow your car. I'd like to have another drive round. I have a bad feeling about this. But if you insist... I'll be careful. Promise. Uh, good luck. Let's move along. Those rotors are truly admirable. Ah, yes, red! It's the perfect color to make the wings more aerodynamic. So, did you learn anything useful? Yeah, the technology is primitive, but inspiring. 
Unfortunately, I cannot grasp it completely until I can study a functioning sample. Now, let's find out what's inside. Ah, a bunch of letters. Looks like Terry once worked for Dr. T together with Professor Ambati. Ah, here it mentions experimenting with the intelligence of apes. Oh, wow. Besides the letters, the suitcase contains bundles of cash. Thanks, Professor. This'll come in handy. Hey, Carl. Oh, Jack, what do you want? You see that flap thing? Can you check whether it's tight enough? Let's move along. Stop! You cannot enter the arena during a fight. If you want to join the fight, come to me and pay the fee. Jumbo, stranger. Have you ever seen an amulet like this? No. We are selling all kinds of rubbish. I, I mean, uh, authentic tribe jewel. But I have never seen anything like that. You could ask the people of the Kawasala tribe up on Kilimanjaro. The symbols look very, very similar to me. But for one thing, they tend to be pretty hostile towards strangers. Also, they haven't been seen in 200 years. Actually, all we want to do is climb that mountain. Have fun with your climb then. Can we simply go? Sure. I take it that you've got appropriate snow gear. But of course, you must wait until we resolve our feud at the meeting grounds. What, snow gear? In Africa? If it wasn't necessary, we wouldn't do so much business selling it. What's going on down there? Unfortunately, we are greatly in debt to the neighboring tribe because our bank left us hanging. The creditor must forego his claim if his tribe is defeated in a duel. Isn't that archaic and barbaric? Do you consider a system any fairer? with the person with the most expensive lawyer wins? Hmm. Well, there is a way for you to ensure justice for our village. With words? No, with your hands, clenched into two determined fists. If you will, you will save our village. Plus, you win an original, authentic Koa Manyatan warrior mask, trademark. Count me in. <laughs> but you're not wearing any war paint. Sorry, but you cannot compete without this. The creditor warriors would laugh their heads off. Jack, would you believe it? I've just had two marriage proposals. I could enter the tournament, but I need war paint. And? Well, I thought women always carry lots of makeup, don't you? Sure, and men never stare at my cleavage. How cliche can you get? Fine, I'll find another way to paint myself. Just to save you embarrassment, I know a Komok Indian war paint pattern that might help you. Have you ever considered asking a pro? All you can do is make him look like a hooker. 
For war paint, Amanda is the better choice. Good thing you're sometimes nice to me, or you'd be in trouble. Okay, hold still. Just a little bit here, and some there. Perfect. One fearsome warrior. Wow, thanks. Dumbo, stranger. I want to take part in the fight. As a foreign participant in our court system, you must pay a fee of $10 per fight. If you insist. Very good. Go and restore the honor of our village day. Jumbo, stranger. I want to take part in the fight. Very good. Go and re... Greetings, Chief. I would like to register my fighter. Good to hear. I see a lot of war paint on his body. If you pay the participation fee, you're in. I think this will suffice for the whole tournament. I think so too. All right, your fighter may enter the ring and challenge the master of the arena 